YouTube, welcome back to Arabin Outdoors. Hey, I'm Arabin, but you knew that, didn't you? Hey guys, it is nasty, wet, rainy, cold outside, so I figured I would bring the outdoors in. Welcome to the Fox Den. Today I am enjoying this beautiful old Nordic pipe. Beautiful freehand pipe. And in the bowl, I am smoking some tobacco from my local tobacco merchant. Happily named the Tobacco Merchant. And it's just called Velvet. And I'll be honest with you, I've had this in this jar for about three years. So that's about all I can tell you about it. This is called Velvet. It's an aromatic tobacco. And... Because that's really all I smoke is aromatics. I've tried Englishes and I just I just don't have a palate for it. But anyway, today's my birthday, so I thought I would just jump on board and share a little chat and a new hat. Not this one. You've probably seen me wear this one before, but I bought a new hunting hat. Want to see it? All right, count to three and snap your fingers. One, two, three. Here it is. This is my new hunting hat. It is very, very warm. And it's got real fur on it on the inside and on the outside. But man, let me put my pipe down. This thing is warm. It's got a lock underneath. So you can get up underneath there. And then it also comes with a removable mask. And it just snaps on. And the mask just comes completely off. And it has a thing so you can just wear it as just a mask if you want to. But yeah, this thing is going to keep me warm when I go deer hunting this year. And that's what I've been waiting for. I've been waiting for the cold weather to go deer hunting. And, uh, but I needed a cold weather hat uh, for the three days this year that it's going to get cold enough to wear it. <laughs> Welcome to South Carolina. But no, we don't get winter like a lot of people get winter. But to us, like today for example, it's cold. Today is November 4th. It's my birthday. And right now, as you can see, it is a, a balmy 48 degrees, and the high is only going to be 48 degrees today. You guys don't understand, for us down here in South Carolina, it's winter. I know you guys are having fall, and these temperatures might be fall to you, but to us, it's dang cold. But anyway... I bought this hat as a treat to myself, and uh, I just, like I say, I wanted a cold weather hat because I honestly believe that a tree stand in the winter is the coldest place on earth. So there's the hat portion of the video. Let's snap back to the way we were. Three, two, one, there. Much more comfortable inside. I'll tell you what, this little electric heater that I've got here in the Fox Den puts out a lot of heat. So like I say, that was the hat portion of the video. Now let's move on to the chat. Here's something interesting for you. I went to Walmart today to uh, do a little shopping things that are on the honeydew list, you know, stuff like that. And uh, I realized that I needed some more paracord. And I'll tell you why in a moment. But, I needed some paracord, so I went to Walmart, and the sporting goods section, the paracord is always more expensive. If you go to the hardware section, where the rope is, you'll find that paracord is not only cheaper, but you also have a better variety of colors and stuff like that. So, uh... 
I fix up some of this hyper tough 550 carat cord, uh, 50 feet, was $3.74. Now, whoever bothers to read the back of a paracord? Well, I was bored this morning, so I read this, and I thought it was interesting. Let me share it with you. On the back of the paracord, it has a warning, okay? Now, it talks about not using knotted rope and that this shouldn't support human weight. Blah, blah, blah. But there's a whole separate warning. And here's what it says. Whoops, sorry, that was my phone. Here's what it says. Warning. Cancer and reproductive harm. <gasps> and then, this explains it right here, okay? It's got a website. www.p. 65 warnings dot c a dot gov California aren't they special they're scared they're gonna get cancer and have reproductive problems if they use this paracord are you kidding me <laughs> that is just silly so if you're concerned about cancer and reproductive issues don't use 550 paracord to put up your tarp, okay? Because, hey, it could kill you. <laughs> that is silly. That's like a, uh, a channel not too long ago. I can't remember what the guy's name. He does a lot of product reviews. And uh, he does them because people pay him. And uh, they either pay him or give him free stuff. Maybe both. But he did a video about how uh, this company that sells protective clothing that's supposed to protect you from the harmful effects of cell phones. You can get cancer from using your cell phone. But he had, uh, I mean, he had like pants and shirts and even underwear that protect you from the rays emitted from your cell phones. The sad part is not only that there's a company out there making money off of people selling this rubbish, the scary part is that there are people out there that are buying this stuff. There must be because they're in business. Wow. You know, that kind of leads me to another topic. Let me get my pipe back. Earlier this week, I unsubscribed from four channels that I had previously been subscribed to. And the reason I did is just because I got sick and tired of listening to all this gloom, despair, and agony on me. Doomsday, the world's ending, the sky is falling, the sky is falling. Okay, things aren't all that great right now, but how many generations in the past have had it worse than we do right now? Come on, people. Buck up. Move on. Deal with it. Life is too short. And that is why I unsubscribe. Now, I watch more YouTube than I do regular television. In fact, the only time I watch regular television is at night when my wife comes home and she wants to watch TV. During the day, I watch YouTube. If I'm on the television, I watch YouTube. Now, I do admit sometimes in the morning when I'm eating my breakfast, I will turn on Fox News and uh, because somebody once told me that you need to watch the news once in a while to see what the devil's up to. But... It don't matter what he's up to, guys. In the end, God wins. We know that. So. Rejoice in that fact. Okay? But yeah, these four channels, and I'm not going to mention names. 
Uh, there are a lot of channels out there. You know what I'm talking about. But what I will do, when I watch TV, YouTube, I watch it on my television. And when I go to subscriptions, it'll pull up all the videos that people I'm subscribed to have done. And up in the corner, there's an option I can click Play All. And uh, I will sit there, and it'll just go through every single video that people I'm subscribed to came up with. I, I just got tired of these people coming up every day with this doomsday the world's ending crap. Life's too short for that, you know? But anyway, hey, I'm going to do a couple of videos because my wife got me some outstanding gifts. And it's too nasty outside to do a video on any of them today. But she got me this awesome, now I don't know the company, Ariere. It's a 10 by 10 tarp tent. Rainfly, waterproof. I haven't even taken it out of the bag yet. She just gave it to me for my birthday today. And um, I can't wait to get out there. It comes with stakes. It comes with uh, uh, ropes. Which I'll probably replace with paracord. Because I don't care about the cancer since, well, I've already got it. <laughs> and, uh... But I was going to do a video today about this and show different configurations that I'm going to try out. When uh, This is going to go in my bushcraft bag. I'll keep my tent for my backpacking bag, but when I go out bushcrafting and doing that type of uh, outdoor adventure, this is going to be my new go-to. This one's a little bit bigger, but what I like about it is it has all of the tie-offs. My other tarp didn't. It just had grommet holes in the four corners. So look for a video on this coming up soon. Um, I'm probably just going to go out into the woods. I'm, I live on eight acres. We got tons of woods back there. and I, I haven't been exploring back there in a while. So um, very soon here I'm going to do a video. Do an overnight or two. Out in the woods in the backyard there. On the property and test out this uh, new tarp. I'll do a video and a review in case it's something you might be interested in. Also, she got me this awesome leather arrow quiver. You see, these are the arrows. I'll take them out for now, but they just kind of go right through there. And uh, I'll take them out for now so I can show it to you. And again, I'll do a video on this uh, later when I actually can go out and shoot and test it out. But very, very well made. Look at the rivets on this. And the buttons on the back. So you can put this on your belt loop. It is called a pocket quiver. And you can actually put it in your back pocket. Now, of course, I'd wrap my, around my belt. And that'll keep it in there. But instead of having a back, because I've got a back quiver that I made. I made this back sling quiver. And uh, I had it so I could put it on my back. But then I altered it so that I could put it on my belt. But it doesn't, you see how it's front heavy? And when I have it on my belt, it kind of swings all over the place. So, I had this in my Amazon wish list. And my wife went on there and got it for my birthday. But the quality of the leather is it's just, I was... So pleased with this, and I can't wait to put it to use. And, uh, um, but what a great birthday gift that in the tarp. And it's easy to there, it's slide in so easy. And uh, I think that it's gonna be great. Like I say, I haven't actually put it to use yet. I'm gonna get out the longbow tomorrow, weather permitting, and give it a try. I can't wait. 
but the quality is just awesome. It goes right along with the rustic look of my uh, longbow. And uh, it holds six arrows, as you can see. Flips on your back, on your, on your belt. I imagine you could wear it on your side, but it's originally intended to go in your back pocket and strap onto your belt. And keeping it strapped on your belt, that way, when you pull the arrows out, you won't pull the whole thing out of your pocket. Be on the lookout for that video. And, um, yeah, so, and also, I did a video yesterday. It would be easy for you to find, but to make it even easier, I'll put a card right up here, somewhere up here. But I did a video in response to uh, Eat Carbs Outdoors channel where he invited us to do videos about our fire kit. I showed you my go-to fire kit. I had a homemade canvas pouch that I put it in. I was happy with that, but my main concern was that the flap that went over it didn't really lock. It didn't close, and I was scared that if it somehow tipped over sideways or upside down in a bag, that the stuff would come out. So, another thing that my wife gave me for my birthday today was this Condor eye pouch. It's a Condor product, and they make great pouches. I've got several of them. But, uh, basically, everything that I had in that fire kit I took out and I put in here because this will go a lot better on my get home bag okay my get home bag has molly on it and uh, I can molly this because you see it's got the uh, it's got this on the back I can hook this on the side of my get home bag that I keep in my truck and uh, on the back there I put the strike pad for the uh, Zippo Typhoon matches that are in the kit. But yeah, Condor makes great pouches. If you're not familiar with them, go check them out. But it has a buckle on the front. I feel much better with everything staying in this kit. And it's more compact. But it's got a... Uh, a buckle on the front but it also has very heavy velcro you can hear that how strong that velcro is and then right here on the outside you can see it's got a little elastic that's where I have my knife and then I was also on the other side there's elastic I was able to put some Vaseline or chapstick which is an aid in fire starting but anyway in the front there's also a pouch, and this is where I keep, and again, I'm going to decide repetitive if you've already seen that video, but I've got my little ferro rod in there, I've got my clipper lighter, and having these little lanyards on here, okay, makes it so awesome and so much easier to get out of that little pocket. So instead of having to try to reach in there, there goes my phone again, sorry. So instead of trying to reach in there with my finger and pull it out or push from the bottom up, if I'm wearing gloves, I can just loop my finger, loop my finger on there and okay and pull it right out. So these little lanyards with the duct tape were a great idea. And uh, so yeah, that's what's in the front pouch. And then on the inside pouch, I'm not going to go through it again. But every single thing fits down in there. My fat wood, my typhoon matches, my magnesium ferro rod, my cotton ball, Vaseline, my quick fire, or quick start, whatever that stuff's called. Everything that was in that other kit fits in this kit. But I feel better with this kit, everything not falling out. Um, and I like the fact that I can take this and I can put it on the outside of my get home bag. So if, I, if I'm in a situation where I have to stop and make a fire, 
it'll be right there on the outside of my pouch and uh, I can get to it very easily but it's the Condor eye pouch I'll probably do a review on it later on in more depth but I just wanted to share it with you because my beautiful wonderful rock my wife of 32 years we've been together for 37 years but uh, in July we uh, celebrated our 32nd anniversary and uh, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for her but what a, what a loving wife and what loving gifts and I, I love them and uh, I love her and uh, anyway I said this was going to be a video about a chat and a hat uh, and uh, so that's what I've done um, getting kind of long here and I know you guys don't like long videos but hey I want to take a moment and say thank you to all of my subscribers I really appreciate it and uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet I'd love to have you on board I just announced yesterday that when I do hit 2,000 subscribers uh, I'm gonna have an awesome giveaway uh, I'm not gonna say too much about it but uh, right now I'm at 1820 so I've got what 180 subscribers to go so if you can help me gain 180 subscribers that'll put you closer to winning a fabulous giveaway but uh no seriously I do appreciate everybody that subscribes to my channel I really appreciate the 50 or 60 of you who actually watch my videos and I really 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 appreciate the dozen or so of you that comment on my videos and um, it means a lot because this is a hobby that I thoroughly enjoy and uh, I spend a lot of time on YouTube watching y'all's videos um, creating my own videos a lot of people don't realize how much goes into making one video hours but uh, I enjoy it I know YouTube is getting kind of weird but that's why I decided when I watch YouTube I want to be entertained I don't want to become depressed so just like I do in life I eliminate negative people from my life I eliminate negative YouTube videos from my life I don't watch them on purpose I don't want to be scrolling through the videos and have one come up um, I just don't want to waste my time with that negativity life's too short you know we all hopefully will have 80 or so years here on this earth in comparison to eternity that is just a drop of water in the ocean so why spend 80 or so years living in fear um, there are too many good things in the world to find and there are too many good things to experience so I say experience them don't live in fear don't let hatred and fear and don't let a politician or a group of politicians or news media dictate how your life is going to be get rid of all that stuff and enjoy what's good out there there's very little in the outdoors that's not good unless you come across a bear with two baby cubs and she thinks that you're after them and she attacks you and eats you but other than that that's why I love the outdoors that's what I look for in life that's what I look for in my entertainment and uh, that's for the most part why I like YouTube the good parts of it there's good and bad with everything I choose the good how about you till next time keep calm carry on and keep it outdoors